One of the great things about paid digital marketing is all of the control you have over your campaigns. You get to determine the ad creative, the targeting, what your budget is, all sorts of different things. But the problem with having that much control is that you then have a lot of changes that you need to make regularly to make sure that you're getting the best performance from them. Some channels do have options that are helping to do that through automated rules. We already have a couple of videos on the channel that go through those. The first is for Google ads and you can check that out right here. And then the second one is going to be for Facebook ads and you can check that one out right here. Each one of those videos will walk you through how they work and what the different options are. And this video is going to be in addition to that tiny automated rule library. Today, we're going to talk about TikTok automated rules. I'm going to show you where to find them in the interface, what they do, and how you can start using them to optimize your campaigns. In the TikTok ads manager, they make it really easy to find the automated rules. They're just right above the campaigns where they're listed. If we want to, we can just click the drop down here and we can create a new rule or we can manage the rules. You can see here that since this is still a relatively new feature, TikTok still has this little helpful bubble that talks about increasing control and efficiency. You can set automated rules to send notifications or make changes to your ads when they meet certain conditions. They even went so far as to misspell ads. Love it. So to get started, let's just go ahead and click create new rule. That will open this window off to the right where we can build all of our automated rules in TikTok. So let's just go through the builder over here. It's broken into a number of different sections. So at the top, we have different templates of rules that we can use that TikTok already has built for us. And then the middle section down here is going to be where you set up which portions of your account the automated rules apply to, as well as the conditions themselves. And then down below, we'll have the different settings for the rules. So the first thing you'll notice is that in the apply rule to section, since I did not check the box next to a campaign name, it will apply the rule to all active campaigns. If I wanna select only certain portions of the account, I can click the drop down here, and then I can select all active ad groups, all active ads, and then there are also the inactive sections of the account that you can apply it to as well. But if you want an automated rule to apply only to a specific campaign, you'll need to check the box next to that campaign when you get started and create a new rule that would apply to just that campaign. For now, I'm just gonna uncheck this and we'll go through the builder as is. Let's start off by walking through some of the templates that TikTok has available for us. You can see here that right now I'm on the create a custom rule section. We'll do that in just a little bit. But there are two rule sections that I can't use, the schedule delivery and unlock potential, because they can't be applied to campaigns and ads in this unlock potential section. And they can't be applied to something that is active to schedule delivery because it's already delivering. So you can't really schedule it to turn something on that's already on. So let's go over to the enhanced performance section. It says that it will increase the budget for ads that are performing well. And this is a feature that most other platforms don't have are these templates. You'll see when I click on this enhanced performance template that the section of the condition and actions have changed to now we have an if then condition that is built out to help you adjust the lifetime budget based on the performance of your account. If I come back up here and we look at the control budget template, you'll notice that it completely changed the conditions and actions again to reflect a strategy where you turn off ads with unexpected high costs. So these templates are really helpful and they make it easy to start off with a rule that's already built so that you're not doing things from scratch. Even though I'm not going to show you what they look like because I'm not eligible for those types of rules, you can do the same sort of process with the unlock potential and schedule delivery rules by just clicking on them and letting the condition and action section reset for that additional strategy. So now let's start to go through the condition and action section down here and talk about how this works. As you can see with the naming convention, TikTok uses an if then setup in here. So if certain conditions are met, then this action will be taken. So in this automated rule, if the lifetime budget spend rate is greater than, and then there's a different field that you can add in a different percentage over here, and the CPA over the last three days is less than certain amount, then the automated rule will adjust the lifetime budget to be increased by, and then you would set the certain number that you want it to be increased by, and you can set a maximum lifetime budget cap. So if you were to use this template, all you would need to do is input the different settings that you would want for this type of thing. But there are lots of different conditions that you can utilize in this automated rule builder. So let's just click the drop down here and see what those conditions are. So it can be based on your advertising objective, total cost, daily budget spend rate, 
which is the percent of daily budget that has been spent at the time the rule runs. You can use a lifetime budget spend rate, which is the percentage of the lifetime budget that has been spent at the time that the rule runs. You can look at CPM metrics, CPC, conversion, conversion rate, impressions, clicks, click-through rate, the name, or the days since creation. All of those are going to be different conditions that could be met. So it's probably pretty easy to understand that click-through rate, for example, would be a condition where you say, if click-through rate over a certain date range is greater than 3%, I wanna increase my budget. But if something has a specific name and you only wanna do it for a specific ad creative or something like that, you can do a name in here that either contains or does not contain, begins with, ends with, or is, meaning matches perfectly, and then you'd enter the text over here. Overall, a pretty simple setup. And since I didn't enter anything, TikTok is throwing an error. If you set up any conditions and you decide that you don't want to have an additional condition here, so just saying that we don't wanna have the CPA rule, you just need to click the trash can and it would remove that if condition from your automated rule. You can see here you can have up to five conditions. So if you wanted to, you could continuously add conditions and have it be as customized as you want up until you have five of them. And you'll notice that each one of these has an and operator on it. There is no or statements here. If you want a rule that would rely on an or statement, you'll effectively just need to create a second rule within TikTok. For now, I'll just ditch all these other things over here. Once you've narrowed down your conditions and you've decided what scenario needs to take place for this rule to run, you then get to choose the action that you want it to take. So in this example, it's using the adjust lifetime budget, but there are other options. You can either turn off a campaign. There are options where you can turn things on. You can have it notify you, adjust the daily budget, or adjust the lifetime budget. So this notify option would effectively be just sending you an email and letting you know that these conditions have been met. So you'll know that you need to look into the account on your own and make a decision as to what to do based on the performance that you see. This would be a great option if the actions that are available, which you can see is part of a relatively limited list, aren't all that you would want to have happen. Maybe you would want something else to take place. You would want to make some other optimization. Utilizing this notify me option for automated rules would be a great way to alert you to hop into TikTok and to adjust your campaigns. For now, let's just leave this as lifetime budget. You can see here that based on the conditions that are met, this rule would be having you increase the budget, but you can also decrease the budget by a certain percentage or a certain value. And then you can also adjust to a certain level. So if I click adjust to, that basically means that you'll just set a completely new budget if that's met, and it won't be a function of what the previous budget was, either increasing or decreasing based on that previous amount. You'll notice there's another action down here below that is a frequency cap that is not eligible for this adjust to option. But if I come back up here and adjust this to decrease by, you can see that we would then be able to adjust it either by the dollar amount or a percentage. So if I wanted to increase it just $10, I would just input 10. But then there is a frequency cap option down here, which is trying to help you limit the number of times that this rule will actually run and make this desired action. So from this list, I can click the drop down. And I can say that I want this to only run once, only run once every 24 hours, only once every 48 hours, or only once a week. So this helps you limit the number of times that this rule will actually take effect. And it just operates a bit different than the minimum lifetime budget would over here because maybe you would want to have that change only happen once a week so that your campaign could find its footing with that decreased budget over a week. And then if that condition is still met and performance still isn't where you want it to be, it'll decrease the budget again. And then the minimum lifetime budget will help be a guard stop against lowering the budget all the way through the floor to zero. So for now, I'm just gonna click a once every 24 hour frequency cap. That way it'll stop showing me an error. Once we've set all of our conditions and actions, we're gonna scroll down to the rest of the settings and finish closing out this automated rule. The first thing we get to choose is the run schedule. So you get to set when you'd like to check if the above rule conditions have been met. So this is going to be different than the frequency cap that we talked about or any of the other if then conditions. This is going to be how often TikTok checks to see if these conditions are being met. So the most frequent option can be run every 30 minutes and that's gonna be the default. So basically every 30 minutes, TikTok will review all of the aspects of your account and see if any of your conditions have been met. And if they have, it will then run the actions that you told it to in the automated rule. This is very similar to the way that Facebook's automated rules run. 
It's on a regular cadence of every 30 minutes. You can also switch and have your rule only run daily. So if you only want it to check each day one time, you can do that. Or you can have it run at specific times and it'll run every 30 minutes within the time periods that you select. So in this first section over here, you get to choose which day of the week you want it to run on. So let's just say Wednesday and Thursday. And then you can have it run from one in the morning up until four in the morning. And it'll run every 30 minutes within that time period on Wednesday and Thursday. And then the rest of the times it will not run. This type of rule scheduling could be really useful if you have a certain promotion running during only a couple of days or only a few hours of the day so that TikTok can make adjustments for you rather than you needing to log in and do them manually over time. The only challenge here is that when you're done with that automated rule, you need to delete it so that it won't keep running that during the time that is no longer part of your promotional period. For now, I'm going to switch it back to run every 30 minutes just so it'll be a little bit smaller on the screen. You then get to decide if you want to be notified when your rule conditions are met. This is going to be a completely personal preference. If you want to be notified, leave it toggled so that the notifications are on, which is by default. But if you don't want them on, you can just simply click this and it'll turn it off. I'm going to put it back on. That way we can have some additional options here. Next, we get to decide who gets notified. So if you come in this box here, I'm sorry, we've got it blurred out, but there are two user profiles tied to this ad account. So if we wanted both of them to be notified, you just check the box next to them and then they'll both be notified when that rule condition has been met. You then get to set your notification schedule. So do you want to be notified every time the rule runs? Which again, if your conditions are met on a pretty frequent basis, that could be as often as every 30 minutes of every single day. That would be a lot of notifications. So the nice thing is there is a second option that says send notifications together around a specified time. Maybe that would be a little bit better if you want to be notified every time. And depending on what you're using automated rules for, it could also be useful for you to use this last section here, which is also notify me if conditions aren't met. If it's useful for you to know that your rule ran and you didn't actually meet those conditions, again, as often potentially as every 30 minutes of every single day, you can toggle this switch over and then you'll be able to get a notification that your rule ran on TikTok and we didn't meet those conditions, so no actions were taken. That seems like a little bit of a silly thing to have every 30 minutes, so I'm gonna leave that off. And then the last thing you would get to do is add a name to your rule. So you would have this set up to be something really specific so that you know what it is. But since I just created a placeholder rule for this and I didn't actually apply anything, I'm not gonna name it and I'm not gonna hit save. I've only got one additional thing to show you about automated rules, so I'm gonna close this builder. And now since we're just back in the main campaign tab, I showed you earlier that you can get to automated rules just by clicking this list and we created a new rule here. If you wanted to apply a rule just to a single campaign, I could check the box here and then come up to automated rules and the dropdown will change. Now you can see that I can create a new rule or I can apply an existing rule or I can manage the rules that are within the account. So if I just go to apply existing rule, you'll see that this account doesn't have any rules, but this is basically where you would get to choose what rule you wanted to apply from a list of rules that were already existing. It would give you the rule name, the conditions and then the actions in this builder here. That way you could preview it and you would know ahead of time what you were applying to your campaign. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. And then the last thing is to be able to manage the rules for the account itself. So I'm going to click manage rules. And now it's brought me to an entire new screen where you can see over here that I've got manage rules. There's an operations log to where we can see what rules have been run in the past and what happened. And you can create a new rule directly from this. I wanted to show you this because this is a page that you can't navigate to from any of the asset drop downs up here. You would need to go only from that main section of ads manager and click manage rules and it'll bring you here. So you can adjust all the rules that you've got set up in the account. Just like the automated rules for any of the other platforms that we've covered on this channel, TikTok's automated rules have a lot of potential behind them, but they're not going to be able to solve all of your performance optimization challenges in one fail swoop. They're absolutely a great tool to add to your arsenal so you can make sure that your account is always moving forward, especially on tasks that are highly repetitive and don't require using any brain power each time to do them but don't expect them to turn things around overnight and they're not gonna be a silver bullet for perfect performance. Hopefully I covered everything that you would need to know to start setting up automated rules in your TikTok account. But if you have any questions on this or any of the other automated rules that we've talked about, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below.
Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.